I think that um, a question that comes to one's mind is do we need a common identity, a shared identity before we start such an endeavor, before we engage in a process of commoning? And the answer is I don't think so. And it's not a matter of belief, of course. It's a matter of fact that wherever people live and need to share a collective resource throughout history, they, they didn't always have a choice. They had to share with other people living at the same pl place, right? So the relation between social identity and the commons is rather a dynamic one. Um, it's not the idea that there is a shared identity first or there are shared values first and we then build the commons upon it, but it's rather the other way around that um, we have a collective resource or we have a social situation um, where we need to communicate with each other and we need to relate to each other in order to avoid conflict and in order to share the resources in a fair um, and free autonomous way. Um, and through this process, through this ongoing conversation, through this commoning processes, um, social identity emerges and shared values emerge within the group and vice versa. They then nurture the commoning process.